Antonio Brown filed a grievance with the NFL over the right for him to wear his old helmet. I'm not surprised that he did that. Because knowing Antonio Brown, he really wants to wear that helmet and he doesn't seem to be willing to understand that that helmet he's wearing is archaic, it's outdated, and it's too dangerous to wear. Here's what's gonna happen. The NFL is gonna tell Antonio Brown, no, you cannot wear your old helmet. That 10 year old helmet that you have been wearing is not safe. You must wear a new modern helmet that is certified by us, the NFL. That's what they're gonna tell him. After they tell him this, Antonio Brown has got a decision to make. Does he stay in the NFL or does he sit out and retire? I hope that Antonio Brown makes the right decision and finds a helmet that is the most comfortable for him and he suits up and plays for the Raiders. I'm hoping that he understands that the NFL will not allow him to wear that old 10 year old helmet that nobody else is wearing. Nobody else is wearing that type of helmet. So if the NFL won't allow other players to wear old archaic helmets, they're not gonna allow him to wear that helmet either. Tom Brady has to get a new helmet. Aaron Rodgers has to get a new helmet. So many players had to change from the old unsafe helmets to the new modern ones, which are more safer. These new helmets that the NFL are mandating that players wear, it's safer. I hope Antonio Brown does the right thing. Just find a helmet that is new, that has been certified. I'm pretty sure him and the NFL can work together to find a helmet that is best for him. I hope. He does not sit out. I hope he does not retire because of a helmet. It would be so tragic. It would be so unfortunate. It would be so sad if he were to never play again in the NFL because he didn't like the way a helmet fit on his head. This doesn't make sense. He has to learn to adapt. That's what life's about. Sometimes you have to adapt. Sometimes you have to do things that you don't want to do. And my thing is, even the NFL PA said this helmet was okay. They, even they were on board with players wearing these new safer helmets. So I don't understand why he's doing this. It's a safety issue. He knows what's going on in the NFL with all these concussions and he knows about CT. He knows about all these brain damage issues that a lot of current players and former players are dealing with. He knows this stuff. It only makes sense that you wear a new, modern, updated, approved helmet. He should be embracing this rather than fighting it. So he did file a grievance with the NFL. Like I said, I don't see the NFL budging on this because they're all about trying to keep players as safe as possible for the most part that's what they that's what they're saying and they're doing a good job with this helmet thing i like it i'm all about player safety so if wearing a helmet will Im improve the chances of a player being safe i'm all for it and antonio brown should be all for it as well i'm really hoping that somebody that's close to antonio brown or a current teammate from the raiders or someone is reaching out to him to talk to him to explain to him that hey these are the rules you've got to follow them you've got to wear a helmet that is safe you gotta follow the rules whether you like them or not it's just part of the business and you should not jeopardize millions of dollars over a helmet it's not worth it it's not worth him losing his career over a helmet but it looks like it's going in that direction me personally I don't want that to happen because he's one of my favorite players to watch. He's so talented. He's so gifted. He's a great route runner. Man, he's so electrifying on the field. He's so dynamic. He's such a wonderful player. For me not to see him on the field 
because of a helmet dispute, that would just be, it'd be tough for me to deal with. And I'm sure Oakland fans feel that way, and I'm sure other football fans that are passionate like me feel that way as well. I know there are football fans, I know there are players that are probably like Antonio Brown. Come on. Come on, Antonio. Find a helmet that fits you the best, wear it, and keep it moving. I'm pretty sure a lot of players feel the way that I do. I'm sure there are fans, coaches, that feel the same way that I do. They, they, they know, we all know, that that helmet that he has is just not safe. He needs to update that helmet, get his million dollars, his, and keep playing. Because I'm pretty sure, like I said, the NFL will not allow him to step on the field with that old archaic helmet. And I hope he makes the right choice for the sake of the Raiders, for the sake of football, and most importantly, for the sake of his safety. I hope he gets a modern helmet that is safe to wear and he doesn't become a further distraction for the Raiders. I'm even hearing reports that he's not even around the Raiders that much. He's so upset over this helmet issue, he's not showing up to the Raiders facility. They paid this man millions of dollars and he's not showing up because he's upset about a helmet? Come on. Come on. He, 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 oh man, he's got to do better than that. I hope. And I'm optimistic about this. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that in the end, he'll find a helmet that suits him. Is this a shame that it's come to this point where he's filing a grievance? It shouldn't come this far over a helmet that is safer than the helmet he currently has. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Hopefully he'll make the right choice. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Please do me a big favor and subscribe to my channel. If you have not done so already, just press that subscribe button below this video. Also, be sure to click on the notification bell. That way when I put out new content, you'll be able to get it right away. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that you all have a blessed, wonderful day.